you could see was the bottom of the truck. Sometime last night, a woman driving a pickup crashed through the bridge rail at Washley Creek. The truck plunged into the water, leaving her trapped inside in the dark for nine hours. Until this morning, when a Walmart truck driver spotted the accident and called for help. If the truck hadn't been so tall and he hadn't been just looking to see what was going on, probably would have been a lot worse turnout on this. Tangipaho 8th Ward volunteer firefighters responded, putting their training into practice and went into rescue mode. Firefighter Devin Irwin went into the water, working, talking with the woman inside the truck. Essentially, she was laying on the roof. The water level was about up to her neck, so she had been sitting there for, you know, however many hours, just holding her head out the water to be able to breathe and, you know, stay alive. What so. was she saying? Um, she just wanted out. A uh, little scared. Uh, I'm sure after being there all night, uh, I probably would have been scared myself. Irwin had only recently trained for such an incident. In the water, he and the woman inside the truck worked together. She helped me with the door to force it open. Once, once I got enough to get in there and push on the door with, with more of my weight, I pushed it open and we were then able to get her out and bring her to the shore with, with some assistance. You guys saved this woman's life. Yes, sir. It's our job here to serve the community. Just that simple? Yeah. An alert truck driver, trained firefighters, and the woman was rescued in the early morning hours after nine hours in the water, climbing out on her own. So when all was said and done, the woman was actually able to walk out under her own power, rescued by the firefighters. She's apparently doing okay now. The Walmart truck driver who stopped kept on going down the road now. As for the firefighters, they say they're not heroes, just another day at the office. Near Robert Heath Allen, WDSU News.